Hey guys, in this video, we're going to turn this Traxxas TRX4 sport body into a really cool piece of artwork on a truck. So uh, stay tuned and let's roll the intro and we'll get started. Okay, so what I've got here is a body painted a, eh, call it like an acid green or neon yellow and the fenders have been painted black and you can see on the underside of the body there's a white backer to give this more of a pop in the color and the fenders have been painted black i think we're going to leave the fenders black uh, i think that looks nice and gives it a nice little contrast so uh, i'm not going to go over all the tools used there's other videos uh, on the channel that explain all that i'm just going to jump right into it so uh, here's the kit we're going to be installing this is a metallic flake upgraded ruckus kit and it's done in an acid green color which is going to match nicely with the uh, body. So let's get some of these tools out of the way and we will get started. The first thing you want to do is grab your alcohol and put it on your lint free rag just like this and we're just going to prep the entire body down. Okay, I know this body's already uh, clean, so I'm not gonna go crazy on it for the sake of boring you guys. Just go around this side, get the bed. Looks good. Okay, so we'll put this aside. This is a cheesecloth and you can just go back over top if you want with this and it'll get any pieces of dirt or dust that's sort of left behind. Okay, okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the sides first and then we're going to move on to the middle sections on a truck like this. I have a bottle of uh, soapy water. There's about five or six drops of dish detergent to uh, what is this? A 32 ounce bottle of water. And it's room temperature water. Nothing, nothing too crazy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one of these stickers off. I'm gonna wet it down. Just like this. And we're gonna get started. Now this sticker here is gonna sit just above the lower rocker panel, just like that. And just for alignment purposes, I'm gonna bring this sticker in as well, which is the lower rocker. And it's just gonna go here because I wanna keep my gaps nice and even. You wanna run about a 16th inch gap between all edges this has to go to my left a little bit, right about, that's a little too much, right about there, just like that, okay? And that looks pretty good. Let's just bring it up here. I'm a little bit, I can go down maybe a 30 second, and that's what I'm gonna do. That looks a little better, okay? Let's add some heat. Then I'm gonna take my felt tip squeegee and I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna give it a little support on the back with my hand and I'm just gonna bring the water out like this. Just like that. Pretty simple. Okay, let's add a little bit more heat. And again, I'm just gonna bring my squeegee up. Just like that. A little bit more heat. Use 
use my cloth here, try and get this piece down. And I'm just sort of pushing the water out with my thumb. Okay, just like that. And this has dried up here, and I'm just gonna push it down with my thumb because it's such a small piece. Add a little bit more heat here. Like that. And I'm gonna do a, a little check here for any air pockets or air bubbles that I might have missed. I don't see any. Just a little bit more heat here. This is a tough spot right here because there's a groove. So what you want to do is you want to give it uh, the water uh, ability to get out using gravity. So because the groove is right here, if I held it like this and I tried to push it out, it's the water's relying on your finger to get it out this way. But if you turn it like this and you use your finger, gravity will help you out a little bit and sort of push that water down that channel. And that looks pretty good. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is the windshield here. And I'm going to spray. And I'm going to pull that piece off of my kit. I'm going to spray it. And get it placed in here. And the ticket here is to just make sure you get your gaps nice and even. That looks pretty good. I'm going to grab my squeegee and just give it a little, little bit of a pull like that. And the water comes out. And that looks pretty good. Let's move on to the front fender here. And we're going to spray it down. And you can see that this will line up very neatly right there, okay? And it's gonna go right up around this front fender, just like this. And we're gonna add a little bit of heat. Just like that. And we're just gonna use our finger to sort of push it down so it makes contact and the water comes out. And then this piece is going to fold over. I'm just going to give it a little lift here because I want to get it nice and tight up against this black fender. There we go. Excellent. Okay. The next piece we need to do is back here. So I'm going to spray it down. And I'm going to grab that rear bed piece. And we're going to spray it down. Okay. And then again, we're just going to line this up. Now, there is a bigger gap right here because there's an indentation on this body. So make sure you don't let the graphic go in that indentation. It's too thick to sort of go around that curve. It looks pretty good. Okay, so we need a little bit of heat. A little bit of heat, and I'm just gonna take my squeegee and work some of this water out right there. And right here. See it coming out there. That looks pretty good. And it's already cooled off. So I'm going to add some more heat. Like that. I'm going to take my soft rag in this situation and I'm going to work it up because there's a little bit of a bend here at the top of the bed. Up and over. Looks good. And now I'm back to here. So I'm just going to give it a little heat so it can wrap around that back side. That looks pretty good. 
So here's where we are. We've done this side, this side, and this side. And I think what I'm gonna do now is actually speed up the camera and I'm gonna do the other side. And it is the same process as I just did on this side. We're just gonna do it here and that won't keep you waiting. So be right back. Thanks to technology, I was able to get that installed and not keep you guys waiting too long. Here's where we are. We've got both sides done. I think the next thing we're gonna do is these bed rails right here. So let's get that wetted, wetted down here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna grab a bed rail. This would be the driver's side, I believe. That it is. Okay. And this piece is gonna go just like this and we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap there like the instructions state that are inside the package. This piece may require just a little bit of trimming based on how much you end up stretching it with the heat. Okay. So we're just gonna go like this and get it fixed. And then I'm gonna take my thumb and just go right along like this. <clears throat> get the water out. And this piece here, you can see it's got a back cut there and that's designed so that it just sort of folds down like that and just folds right over. And I'm just gonna give this a little bit of love and care while it's still warm. A little bit more heat. And I'm just gonna finish this off here with my thumb. Right along the bed rail. I can see the water coming out there. Looks great. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the other side. Okay, and it's just the same thing. Line the art up, give it a little bit of heat to soften it. This is a good example of how thick the product is. You can see like, it's actually able to hold itself up like that right there. If this were a thin, you know, paper thin wrap like you find uh, for sale in other places, it, 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 it's indicative uh, when, it, when you see it fold down, it's indicative of something that's just not gonna last. Especially if you're out rock crawling, uh, you need something that you can, you know, scrape up against this product with, something thick enough to protect from those types of situations. You can see how much heat I need just to get this thing to relax, that's how thick it is. It's basically like armor for your RC vehicle. A little bit more heat. Okay, that looks great. Okay. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is this awesome piece right here in the middle. Probably have to come back to this spot after a little bit and heat it up again before we go out for a ride and make sure it's down. So let's do this big middle piece and then we can come back to that other piece later. Okay, here it is. I'm just gonna spray it down. And do I have this right? I do now. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is an easy piece. I'm gonna center those holes up there and then I'm gonna fix the center just by going like this. You can see the water coming out, okay? And that piece is actually done. Let's get some of this water soaked up with this rag. That looks good. I'm just gonna go over it one more time. Looks 
great. Now I've got some small pieces that are gonna go in there. Um, we're gonna do them later. I think for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and do the hood. Now one of the reasons I wanted to do the sides first is because what you'll do is try and center the hood in between the two side pieces. So based on where you land these side pieces, the hood then can be centered and you can leave yourself a nice gap. If for some reason you stretch this a little bit as you put it up the sides, what's nice is you can still center the hood and then just come back and trim the excess off. So I'm going to pull the hood graphic off and the hood graphic is actually in a few pieces, which makes it easier for install. So I'm going to spray it down. So as long as we align our holes here, we should be good. You can see I've got the holes nice and evened up. I'm going to add a little bit of heat. take my felt tip squeegee and just go right over the center. There is a little bit of a ridge here in the hood design so we have to be careful about that. Go down and over the front and it's already starting to cool. I can feel it. So I'm going to reheat. Just like that. And now I'm going to use my cloth because there's a little bit less friction. So I'm going to add a little bit more heat here. And I'm going to take my cloth and just go over it like this, working the water out, making sure I have no air pockets, water pockets, things like that. And I need a little bit more heat. push this down just like this and you can see as I add heat and I push down it eventually just adheres okay so there's that piece here it is looks pretty good so now we're gonna add these two pieces so I'm gonna spray it down and I'm gonna grab that piece I need off the sheet and I'm going to spray it down. And here's the little game you play where you want to have a nice gap here and a nice gap here. Keep everything nice and even, just like the gaps on a, on a car door that you drive. Uh, as long as everything stays even, it looks really good. And I think that looks good. So I'm going to give it some heat so it sort of melts down and conforms down to where I need it. This is a small piece, so I'm going to use this rag again. Just like that. And that's it. That's an easy one. Let's do the other side. I'll pluck it off. And we'll spray it down. Okay. And we'll heat it back up again. my gaps uniform and I'm using my rag and I'm just going over it just like that awesome that looks pretty darn good let's do the windshield next okay and I'm just gonna spray the windshield down and we'll get it on here Really cool, okay? A little bit of heat, just to soften it up. Okay? Just gonna go that side to that side, and then I'm gonna come up to the top here, make sure I get all my water out of the top. It looks like I did, and there's the windshield. <clears throat> now, let's see. We do have a piece that goes back here, and I'm gonna, that's already wet, so I really need to spray that. I'll pluck it off here. 
And being such a small piece, I'm not gonna wet that because uh, there's plenty of water back here in this groove. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'll get my water bottle out of the way. Now in pieces like this, uh, the art may not always line up and that's to be expected. Uh, we are gonna need some heat in here because I can see that it, it's sort of a curvy area. I'm going to get it started in the middle. So it's down in the middle. I'm going to work my way to the side. And then I'm going to work my way over here. I need to lift it up just a little bit and recenter that right there. And there it is. You can see that there. Looks pretty good. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll move on to the roof. So here we are. Spray the roof down. Now, roof is going to come, I believe, in one piece. Yes, it is. So we'll spray the roof down. And again, we're going to center it because our sides are on. We're going to center it nice and neat. Looks like I need to come forward. That looks pretty good right there. Looks like I need to come to the right just a little bit here. So I'm going to lift it off. I'm going to re-wet it down. That looks really good right there, I think. Yep. I'm going to hold it with my fingers so it doesn't move on me. See those pieces folding down after I heat them up? Okay. And... We're just going to go like that and we're going to get the center axis down and then we're going to work our way left and right. I'm going to reheat and I'm going to get a little bit more down this way and I want to take care of this wing here before it dries and it ends up sticking. So we're going to need some heat for that and I'm just going to feather that down with my thumb just like that. That looks good, okay. We'll worry about this in a little bit. I wanna get this other wing down. And again, I'm, I'm sort of using my finger to smudge it over so I keep my gaps nice and even. Just like this. Looks great. Awesome. All right, let's get the top done here. Go back to my felt tip squeegee and just go like that and like that. That made pretty good instant contact. That's good. Let's spin it around. I'm going to use my rag for this because it's kind of a rolled edge and I'm just going to push it down like that. Looks like I got a little bit of a memory issue there. These, these issues here can be solved very easily just by reheating and re-pushing down before you go out for your first run. Looks like that's down now and that one's down. Just needed a little bit of heat I think was the ticket there. Pretty good. And I'm just going to work my way on this side now. I'm just going to try and, while this is warm, move that up a little bit and sort of push this out a little bit. Tighten this gap up. Looks pretty good. Okay, so here's where we are. I think that's looking pretty good. And I think the next thing we're going to do is right here on this back windshield. Okay, let's do this back windshield. And I'm going to spray this piece down. And this piece is going to actually fit right inside the uh, grooves there. It's pretty easy to do. 
And once I find my squeegee here, okay. Same process as all the other bigger pieces, just take the squeegee and get all the water out and spray it down again because we're going to do this piece. I'm not going to spray this piece down because it's so tiny and it's already wet enough on there. And the trick here is just get it centered so that all your tolerances are as even as possible. Operative word there is possible, even as possible. A little bit of heat. And I think I'm just gonna use my finger to get this one down. I think that'll be the best way. It's working pretty good. Just gonna pick that up there and reposition it so I can get some more center out of it. That looks good. Okay, so there's some pieces that go inside this bed here. So I'm gonna wet that down. They're pretty easy to install. Really straightforward. Just pluck it off your sheet and line up your art. Just like that, that piece is done. And the next piece is here. And again, this is, this, uh, these bed rails here, I've already wetted them down, so I don't really need to wet these smaller pieces down. They'll just float. That looks pretty good. And let's give it a little bit more water here, just in case. Let's spin this around for you guys. Hopefully you can see. I believe I've got that upside down. That looks better. Yep, and that goes like that, okay? And then there's one piece that goes right here, and we'll just go like that. And that looks really cool. I'm gonna soak some of that water up with this rag, just like this, okay? And I've squeegeed that with my finger. That looks pretty cool. There are some pillar graphics that go here, but you may choose to install uh, something black there. That's up to you, however you want it to, to look in the long run. Um, but with that said, let's move on to the tailgate. So I'll wet the tailgate down, and we'll just pluck that piece off. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm sort of looking over top of it. it makes it harder for me. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna need some heat here. Looks like I got a little piece right here that needs to be pushed down. There we go. Pieces like that, um, where you see little ripples show up, that's gonna be in your final inspection at the end. Don't worry too much about that stuff until the very end. I'll take my squeegee and just make sure I get all the minute little water pockets out. Then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a finger test and I can feel the back of that's still pretty wet. So I'm gonna dry that off like this. And that's drier. And what I'm gonna do is a dry contact push, just like that. Okay, one solid sweeping motion because it goes up and over that little ridge right there. Let's finish it off with a little bit of heat. And being it's already down, I can just use my finger to sort of train it to stay there and make good contact, just like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. What else do we have here? Looks like we have the grill to do and this area down here and there's a couple pieces here. Now, on this model, uh, this will come with a headlight and you can pluck it right off the sheet, just like this. And this is big enough, I think I'll wet this down a little bit. Okay. And we'll put this on here. These are free, uh, you're not charged for them. You don't have to use them if you don't want, you can use your own. Uh, I'm gonna heat this up just a little bit. Just like that. 
And starting in the middle, I'm gonna work my way that way, and then this way, just like that. And wrap that back around there, and this back around there. That looks pretty good, right? Let's move on to these pieces here. And I'm just gonna pluck it off of there. And it's just gonna go right there like that. It's an easy one. Probably have to come back and heat that up a little bit, but for now it's in place. Same with this one. That's in place, okay. And the lower front grill, just make sure you're still wet there. That's gonna go just like that. Let's add a little heat to this so we can get these pieces down and then we'll put the final pieces in the front. Just like that. This piece is down and that piece is down. Looks like I need a little bit more heat up here. Just like that. Looking good. There's one piece that goes here and I'm actually gonna dry apply that because it's so uh, sort of narrow. You don't have to dry apply it, it's up to you. But as long as you get it started right, just like that, it's pretty easy to do. And you do have a few seconds to lift it up before it starts to bond if you need to reposition. But there that is dry applied and that looks pretty good. Let's put these inserts in. Again, I'm gonna probably dry apply those. I think uh, it's pretty small. Yep. Just push and stick. And I got one more of those for the other side. And it's just a push and stick, just like that. Okay, look at that, front's done. Where are we? I think actually that is it. Now, this does come with some taillight stickers and some other items. Um, it also comes with, let me get the sheet here so you guys can see where I'm at. So you get some black fender uh, coverings and I've already gone ahead and just painted these black. So I'm gonna leave these on the sheet. Uh, but if you don't feel like painting them yours black, you can always use these black ones. Um, also on here are some tail lights, and you can put them on or use your own or whatever you want to do with that. Uh, same with the pillars. It does come with the pillar stickers, but I'm leaving them off for now. Uh, I think I'm going to make some black ones for that. Um, but all in all, this is done. You can find this product by going uh, to the links below and it'll navigate you right to all of my TRX4 products. Uh, and the website address is also below. One final note before you go out and ride, and this is covered in the instructions included in the kit, you just wanna go back over it like this and make sure all these little pieces are down. Um, keep in mind, this is a wet apply, so depending on the humidity in your room or where you live, the moisture may take a little bit more time to evaporate than say where I'm at. Uh, and what that means is you have to keep working with it to get all the moisture out uh, before you go out for your first ride. And by getting all the moisture out, that means that the graphics are in contact with the body. So this looks pretty good. I am gonna go over it one more time. Um, this will be for sale, so I need to make sure that it's in perfect condition for the, uh, for the buyer. But here it is. This is a Traxxas TRX4 Sport done in a metallic flake ruckus kit by Darkside Studios. Thanks for watching.